we're not thinking people are going to call us these things while we're trying to go to the bathroom. That girl is one of the many Lincoln High School students who say they were racially taunted during a recent football game. Good evening, I'm Lindsay Pena. And I'm Derek Stallin for Steve Atkinson. The incident unfolded Friday night, but the fallout continues with investigations by both schools. New at 5, 10 News reporter Mackenzie Maynard is joining us. And Mackenzie, this is the first time we're hearing from those students. This is the first time that drill team member is talking since Friday night's game. The sophomore tells me this is actually the first time she's ever experienced something like this. Today, her and her team were back out here at practice. What started out just like any other football game. Quickly took a turn for the worse. Lillian Mixon is a member of Lincoln High School's drill team. While her and her teammates were back at practice Tuesday, they're all still replaying what happened Friday night. We're going in a group to the bathroom during halftime, and a little boy, he asked me if I do flag or twirl, and I told him, no, I dance, I do drill, and he responded with the N-word. Not once. A lady was talking to me, but I wasn't listening because I was trying to get back to the bleachers. I didn't know what she was saying, and I heard her call me the N-word. But twice. And I was confused, and I was oh, like, did she say the N-word to me? Because this is a grown woman. San Clemente High School and Orange County Sheriff's released this statement saying in part, at the game, an individual told deputies that the San Clemente middle school students were on the visitor's side being rowdy and obnoxious. Deputies removed them from the area. They say there was no mention of inappropriate language or hate speech. I spoke up about it because I feel like it's not right and that this should not happen. The statement identifies two times people approached deputies and both times they say hate speech was never mentioned. I told the security guard that they were saying racial things to us and the guy, he looked at me and he didn't respond. He just looked and turned away. At the end of the game, Lincoln High students and coaches were escorted to their buses like they normally do in San Clemente after every game. After this whole situation is over, that they realize that they should never say that to someone. She tells me today, since she first shared her story on social media, she's received a lot of hateful and hurtful messages. She says all she's trying to do is make sure this never happens to anyone again. As for both school districts, they're still continuing their investigation into the allegations. For now, reporting live, Mackenzie Maynard, 10 News.